So thanks to recording, it is actually very, very easy for me to compare Silver Buckle and the one we've got. And this is way, way, way better. So the Neon has more attack, more defense, more agility, 2 HP is nothing, and although it's impossible to directly compare the next two things, the rest of them, the numbers are generally higher in Silver Buckle. Look at that, a hundred, look how many files I can save on this card. I found it, in case you haven't guessed. Gibari hasn't shown up yet. He should be here by now. Try coming back a little later. Oh, I kind of assumed that was what we had to do. The Yugabari? No. Is this Dickhead Gabari? Now we're avoiding this guy. Hello there. I don't believe we've met. Are you travelers perchance? Um, yeah, you could say that. I see. I'm not a resident of this village, but I hope you enjoy your stay. It's a great place to relax. I tend to spend a lot of time down here, away from the city and the embassy. I prefer the humble atmosphere of this village to the glitz and glam of the city. The embassy? Then you are from the Empire. Yes. My name is Liud, Imperial Ambassador to Diadem. Yet the title of Ambassador is but a name, an excuse for sending me away. He's got very, very red eyes as well. The relationship between Diadem and our Empire has always been a little shaky. Even today, there is little, if any, exchange between the two nations. When I first arrived, the villagers were suspicious. They thought I might be a spy. Of course, you're not a spy because you are just blatantly from the Empire. But yeah, you still don't have the village's interests at heart. Besides, the Empire cares very little about people of other nations. Thus, my post is much less important than it sounds. Hmm. <sighs> This village is very nice. There's a vast sea of clouds, and the villagers give their best every day to make an honest living. They live every day with pride, for their village and for their way of life. I wonder how they do it. I always like coming here. It's a statue of a sea bream. Fishermen pray to this statue for a good catch. I guess we'll try and fight our way through the valley ourselves then. The Cloud Passage. We're not fighting pallet swaps already, are we? We're only in, like, the third dungeon. This doesn't look too fair. Yeah, I think we are. 
I'm gonna guess he doesn't take good damage from wind. I've cancelled myself out then. Kronos must be earth damage. I assumed it was time mage damage. Oh well. Yeah, it doesn't take much damage from wind. Cool. Hey, that was light damage. Don't know why in my head it was wind damage. I have no idea how rare or common this is. This headgear, Shaco, is similar to a chef's hat in appearance, but with a small peak in the front. Despite appearances, it is designed for use in combat, providing moderate protection. Well, she has very poor defensive items, so I'm going to take the helmet. Time for messing around. Oh, it's three of them. Oh, these things are well tough. Ah, oh, missed, missed, missed. That's my fault. I'm gonna get fucking murdered. Only if you meant to get murdered. I can't imagine you are. Even though wind is rubbish against these things. That 
That was too close. And the XP is like 10 times what we were getting from the bombs, the bob bombs or whatever they are. So this should open up into a gorgeous flower. Presumably that ages into something better. A striper, a fierce beast found in Diadem's cloud passage, originally nocturnal, but has been recently spotted both during the day and the night. Let's say striper. No logic behind that, really. Should I go and heal up, do you think? I'm going to say we're not meant to be here. We must have missed something in the town. Unless we're meant to fight our way to a blockage. Oh, I can go in these buildings. I didn't know that. I assumed closed door meant no building. Hurry, I want to hear your story. Hey, you should listen to this too. She's going to tell a story. like to hear more about this evil god. About Mount Persio swallowing the ocean. It is but a tale, young one. I know little about it myself. Sheesh. We should head for the castle now. She said Malpercio. Mom, that story. It's just an old story. I don't know much about it. So wasn't the whale that was swallowed up scared? 
So, does it still sing its tender song after it's been swallowed? Hmm, if it was me, I would have cried. A big, um, puddle, um, what was it called again? Oh yeah, the ocean, I want to see it. It's a soft bed that's just been cleaned and dried. It's a wooden fish box painted with vermilion lacquer. It's warm, but still good. Looks like the water stored in this barrel has been used in the house for a couple of days now. Looks like we can trap the stagnant water. No, we don't need stagnant water. An enormous fish hook is probably only used for decoration. My mommy, my daddy, and my grandpa died a year ago, so I have to protect my grandma now. Don't you think I'm great? <laughs> nice moves, kid. Time flies. It's already been a year since I started living with him. When I went fishing with my husband, the weather turned treacherous and I lost my son and daughter-in-law. I thought about going after them, but I still had him, so I couldn't risk my life and leave him behind. No, I agree with you. Bottles of expensive looking liquor are sitting on the hammock. machine for spinning plant fibre into thread. It has been maintained very well. It's a well used tool. It reels spun fibre and coils it into a bundle. It's a net use for fishing. Loose ends have been re-tied together, making it very durable. The dishes are in order. There's not a single speck of dust on them. It's a sign of the owner's anal personality. Large strips of dyed cloth are being dried under the sun. So this is a weaver's house then. Have you seen the ambassador already? He's a real gentleman. He's also very kind. I wish he could stay longer. But no, he's got to have an accident today. You know, young man, that fellow Liud is an imperial spy. Agreed. But not a spy, because he's just blatantly saying that. Grandpa, what are you saying? Sir Liud is a great person. You say bad things about him just because he's from the Empire. Shut up, he's a spy. If spy is not the right word, then he's a secret agent. Or an informer. Yes, that's the word, an informer. Ah, they're all the same. Oh, sorry for making you watch this silly drama. There are lots of people in my grandpa's generation who think badly of the Empire. That's why he's saying that Ambassador to the Empire, Sir Liud, is a spy. He's right. He is absolutely right. When my grandpa got sick and couldn't get out of bed, Sir Liud took good care of us. He went to the trouble of importing rare medication for grandpa. But still, my grandpa didn't show much appreciation. Current relations between Diadem and the Empire are good, but back in the old days they were bad. I guess he still holds on to those feelings. It is kind of sad. No, it's not. You've been evaded, woman. Bad relations. I really wonder what happened. All the Imperials are lying scum. I will not be deceived. You are right, man. You are right.
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. hasn't shown up yet. He should be here by now. You two. You looking for Gibari? What do you want him for? Nothing serious. We're just looking for a ride to the city. Who are you? The name's Revelus. You could say I'm the head fisherman in this village. You're out of luck, kids. No one here takes strangers on their boats. Cut it out, Revelus. Leave the travelers alone. Yeah, you don't know what happened. Want to know what happens when you start picking fights with travelers in pubs, Revelus? Huh. Leave them alone. The catch is poor, and the wind is almost dead. Like you're gonna be. These are hard times, Anna. The last thing we need is strangers scaring away the fish. Ferrying strangers goes against our village rules. Rules we've held on to for generations. Kibari, that lug, he ignores those rules, laughs at them, says we're just superstitious. That lug always has to do things his own way, by his own rules. He's just a big pain in the neck. Ain't that so, boys? Damn, Damn. Yeah. I say you Forget about going to the city. Take the liner back home to your mommy. What was that? Or you could wait your life away for the river to calm down and take the road. Here, here! It's your choice! Go home or wait forever! I came here to see Gibari. I'm not asking any of you to take us. You just don't get it, do you, kid? If talk ain't working, maybe roughing you up a bit will help it sink in. Hold it there. So these two are here to see me, hmm? Gibari! Revelus, you got something to say? You come to me. We can discuss it peacefully. Huh. Don't take it personally. Um, how can I not take it personally? He was... What part of that wasn't personal? No, Kibari, your friend is going to wake up sleeping with the fishes tomorrow. Oh, wait, you don't have any fishes. You're all starving. It's the poor catch. And the wind. Been putting them on edge. Gonna put him on the edge of my jewel sword. It's okay. No, it's not. You must be Gibari then. Right. What can I do for you? We need a boat ride into the city. To Sheliac? I see. The cloud passage being cut off and all. Please! We must hurry. It's very important. You sound pretty desperate. Anyway, you came at the right time. Why don't you help me out? I'm going over to take a look at the Lesser Celestial River. It's on the way to the city. I'm curious as to what's causing it to flood over. None of the others have enough guts to go out there. Just the three of us? Yep. Don't you worry. Three's a crowd. We'll be fine. The young lady here looks much more trustworthy than the slackers I know. What do you say? I don't know how much help we'll be, but we'll do what we can. Great. Now we're talking. If whatever's causing this flood is too much to handle, we can leave it alone and I'll take you straight to the city. What do you think? I kind of want to refuse him because the people in this town are assholes. But then Callus is also a massive asshole. Let's uh, let's take him with us. We can always, you know, 
dump her in the river when we're out there. Okay, if you say so. Huh? What are you mumbling about? I wasn't mumbling. I was talking to my guardian spirit. So, there's a spirit with you, huh? A being from another world, bound to your soul. Thought that was just an old folk tale. Believe it or not, I don't care. Anyway, let's go have a look at that little celestial river. I'm Callus. And I'm Shella. Nice meeting you both, Callus, Shella. And what's your spirit called? Your mom. Huh? That's a weird name. Well then, nice meeting you too. Yeah, actually, this guy isn't as bad as the other guy. It's nice to meet you too, Gibari. Okay, off we go to the harbor. We'll take my boat to the river. Gibari has joined the party. Sorry guys, Reblis and the others don't mean any harm. Gibari, you of all people should know that. You know Reblis well. Anyway, if you're going with Gibari, please take care of him. He's such a stupid, rough and thoughtless man. Not like Reblis, who we should all be nice to. Make your fucking mind up, Anna. That's fucking harsh, Anna. Uh, I'm no match for you. Guys. Yokels. Let's see if we can steal this um, mountain apple wine yet then. No. You guys wanted to fight. Which of you wanted to fight? Where's Reblis? It doesn't look like we're underleveled. We're the same as uh, the others. Same as Gibari. So we meant to go on his boat, sorry? This must be Gibari's boat. Shall we head for the Lesser Celestial River then? Yes, let's go. Right. Time to leave. Let's get on board. Wait, Gibari! Think about what you're doing. How can you just ignore our village rules? I don't have time to mess around with those ancient superstitions. Sitting around doing nothing like you guys isn't going to change anything. I'll do what I have to do. That's... You can't! What are you gonna do? Stand in my way? Maybe use force to stop me? Answer me, Reblis. Damn you, Gibari! Sorry, pal. We're short on time. I'll see you around. Gibari! You think the whole world revolves around you? Always doing your own thing, your own way. Why don't you ever think about the villagers and what's important to them? As long as you get what you want. Nothing else matters, is that it? Hey, calm down, Reblis. I was never good at these debates. He's not debating you, he's picking a fight with you. Go smash his head in. Go 
can't believe we're just going to take that shit from Reblis. He should fall over the edge, just like the uh, informant from the Empire should fall over the edge. That's a celestial river. It's about half an hour, but I think we haven't really achieved much this episode. You obtained Chaos Edge. We've probably got quite a few decent items here. No, I can use Fire Yell. Quite a lot of items. Quite a lot of elemental items is the word I was after. No time to play around. Ooh, I thought our uh, disk drive was dying then. They're all the same again. And I'm guessing they're not too fussed about water. Yeah, minus 80. Great, what do I have? Bloody water. so he can do nothing at the moment. Why have you got bloody... Oh, I healed him. I healed him. My God, why have I got all this fucking shit? No one can fucking hit anything. 
I know that's how card games work sometimes. Why is he... Why are you carrying all fucking shields and, like, health items? Yeah, the XP is less than the other place we were. Right, so we definitely, definitely need to sort out decks for... You don't have that much blue, do you? I don't think. You got three blue attacks. That's not terrible. Oh, you've only got four blue attacks. I wonder why they kept coming up then. Let's get rid of all our blue attacks then. I might need that for the man on the right, because he doesn't seem to have much at all. I mean, maybe I just got really... Why have you got bloody Aqua Yell? Seriously. Wind isn't too bad. Water's no good. Voice. Goodness sake. Don't want a chunk of ice. Don't want mineral water. Don't want grapes. That's a bit better than it was. And you got a lot of wind attacks here. Not sure what class you are. You can't use very much. I really don't want him to have water attacks because I'm reasonably confident that everything is going to be water resisting but I don't want heals, they just confuse me to be honest, they just cause me to heal the enemy more than they ever help small knife is just trash though isn't it I wonder, can anyone else say, uh, let's see if you've got anything he might be able to use I don't really want those either. Let's get into another fight. If we try to dump over, we'll definitely be washed away. If we could stop the water with something. No, that's not enough bloody work. Mm, no, nothing there seems to wrap with water. Yeah, 16 XP is really not very much. Rooster, a healthy free-range rooster. It's hard not to be thrown out of bed by a shrill crow. Yummy! Uh, did I say that out loud? Fire 
with these low times are definitely getting longer. One of them must have been water. What? What a terrible set of cards you've brought to a bloody water challenge. You've obtained a Magnus, Mana Stone. You've obtained a Magnus, Stream Blade. Stream? No, not helpful. Discreet arrow would not be helpful. We can win this and fight together. Ah, wrong button. Sorry, that was my fault again. You can see when the AI uses heals how ineffective it is as a strategy because they're just not healing anywhere near as much as I'm damaging them. Dragon Uppercut must be water-based as well then. Maybe that's where you meant to go. I thought that might have been a secret. No, that is where we are meant to go, is it? Oh, I could have read that. Still, I'm sure we'll get another one. You obtained a Magnus Camera 1. That might actually be quite good. I wonder if anyone else can use a camera. Because you seem to have not a lot of... Yeah, you can. Get rid of a leather hat. They're pretty rubbish.
So these things meant to be bosses. This is gonna be tough. Oh, there are three now. Maybe that'll be a bit harder. Oh, for goodness sake, woman. I only give you a camera just now. He slept him. I do quite a bit of damage, you know. God, you just have. Why do. You seem to have too many defensive items here. Ah, that's quite a good strategy because I couldn't use any healing, uh, any defensive items on him then. Whoa! See, seeing as I can only take one Magnus around, this is the problem of having two cameras, is that's now a dead card. Maybe one camera is actually optimal. Because it's a waste to draw now, that camera. Bloody water attack. Look at this. Look at this. When you have more characters, the chance of them being hit becomes less and less, so then healing items are more likely to be filler in your hand. Cancerite, human-shaped amphibious creatures found lurking by the riverside, communicates in an unknown language and acts like a rude drunkard. Habitat, Lesser Celestial River. I think that's what there was to find in there. That fire card. The water crashing lot that sound seems to be very loud in this game. I think I just cancelled out with dark and light. 
Yeah, I did. Yeah, cancels out my defense then as well. So why can't you use fire yell then? What's the point in you having fire yell? Yell performs a water-based offensive slash defensive follow-up to certain weapons, armor, spells, item. The previous Magnus in the combo needs to be water-based for this Magnus to be available. Well, we can drop those then, can't we? Why do I? I don't want you to have any darks. They just confuse me. Now, Kronos and Wind can cancel each other out as well. Can they? Probably. We'll prove that, actually. We'll try and prove that first. have a trash shield. Yeah, we'll just check that Kronos and Wind cancel each other out. Damn, I won't fail next time. Let's not run through when the water's flowing. Oh, for goodness sake. So the front one goes. Then there's a... Oh, this is the front one here. Then there's a far. Then there's a middling. Then there's a front. Then there's a far. How the fuck are you supposed to get across then? What the fuck? There's no fucking gap between them. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. There's no fucking gap between the three fucking waterfalls. Alright, let's just make sure I'm not being genuinely stupid here. Middling. Near. Far. Middling. Near. Far. When, when is the gap? When is the fucking gap then? When is the fucking gap meant to be? Jeez. Right, definitely calling the episode there. Thank you for watching. That waterfall is absurdly hard. I don't know why there's no gap between the three things. But there we go. Thank you for watching. And come back for the next episode of Batten Kytos. 
where I'm pretty sure we'll have a disc read error. 